Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and I'll be playing the Feminine Blitz on lead chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before we start with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start off with the game and see how it goes. Got the black pieces. I'll play c6, d5, the Karokan defense. And this is the advanced variation uh, because the pawn advanced rather than taking. And now I can develop my bishop on f5, eyeing the c2 always. Generally, opponent would develop his bishop trying to go for exchange or develop the knight. Develops the knight in this case. I'll play pawn forward to e6. And looking for, for a pawn break maybe early or just play knight first to d7 so that if I play pawn forward there's no bishop coming in. Uh, he comes in with the bishop, I'll just bring it back so that if he does take, I can take back and open up the h file for the attack. Bishop might come in uh, to uh, g5 and in that case we can develop the knight. Okay, he does take. Um, knight to e7, then knight to. Okay, now we have to exchange bishops, I would say. Don't want the spin to happen. Okay. I'll go here. The idea is to attack the pawn. Well, he's giving me more than enough of chances to attack his knight now. Now I can go for a pawn break as well if required, or just develop a knight maybe. Okay, I'll just bring it back. I don't want to remove the spin. And this would be bad for him eventually. I might lose my bishop, but he'll lose the two pawns, which are the main defenders of his uh, queen side where he has castle already. So he has to think if he really wants to do that. He doesn't. I'll get my rook on the c file and maybe play pawn power next. Queen cannot move from here. Uh, and if queen moves, we'll take on the knight. There's a pin on the pawn so he cannot defend as well. Oh, he gave his queen and trying to take mine. I have a better move, I think. This attacks not only his knight and I'm still attacking his queen. So the only best move here would be to go back with the knight and that's what he does. Now I can still go back. Let's see what is he willing to if he repeats. I'll just go once here and then do something else. He doesn't repeat. I'll play pawn forward. Okay, does take. I'll take with my rook maybe. Nah, can be risky. Um, shall I take his first? Yes, I should. So that if he does take, I can take his queen first. Okay, now I can take with the rook. This makes more sense. Attacking the queen with my rook. If he tries to come here, I'll just get my rook here in between. Uh, there's no mate happening here because I have a knight. So yes, this absolutely works. And next we're going to go in with the knight because he's going to bring his back queen, queen on c3. Yep. And this would mean a mate. So I have to be careful for, with that. So there are a couple of options. I can develop the knight or just bring my knight here first. But then he can play pawn forward. So I'll try to 
bring my knight in between it defends and if he tries to take which he does i'll take now and i have my rook active in the game okay he's trying to attack my rook i can attack his queen if he goes back here this time i can take uh if i bring it back then looks looks bad because eventually he'll have a pin otherwise i go here trying to tag the knight and the pawn which he defends but i can take this pawn instead which was weakened okay he's stacking my knight where do i go try to exchange the knights get my pawns also more centralized Oh, but that might no that won't trap my rook because i can take on this pawn then and then we can proceed with this maybe maybe first block his pawn from moving forward so that these three pawns are not doing anything but just babysitting my one pawn goes back instead where is he trying to go no, nothing okay i'll take on this maybe go here and take another pawn oh that's a nice take okay i'll exchange the rooks at least one of the rook would be gone out of the equation if he does take i can take back two I'm still pawn up so I can do something about it. Well, uh, I think he made a mistake already because this is now not guarded. And he had to take, which means I'm piece up and he resigns. So small miscalculation can lead you to big losses, as you see here. Uh, so let's analyze the game from computer perspective once quickly side of a d4 um, I started my usual opening from black which is the Garo Khan defense c6 uh, He played e4 and responded with d5 often responds with e5 which is the Garo Khan ad defense advanced variation which I have covered in one of my previous videos as well I'll share the details in the description below uh, and then I play bishop f5, developing my bishop first, opponent responds with knight c3, f e6, he gets the other knight on f3, I develop the knight on d7, and after he develops the bishop, yes, the best move is always to take it, but I generally bring it back, and he takes, I take back, and open up the h file. Uh, he tries to attack with the bishop, yes, I've got double pawns, but they are not always bad. Uh, as you would have seen my yesterday's video, but if you haven't already just to check out on the channel I'll place the link in description as well He tries to exchange uh, So just try to attack my queen and I offered him bishop exchange, which he denies I go with queen to b6 attacking pawn and he makes a bad move I think casting on the queen side wasn't required at all uh, Just because my queen is already there on that side and I can start advancing my pawn to c5 as well and break open this the king's uh, the queen side of my opponent here i move my bishop to b4 uh, i can take but i bring it back yes this was what i was wondering if he tries to play because this can be bad as well because you're already losing two pawns which were the good defenders of your king and now it can be a simple march for here from the pawn maybe a rook lift uh, can help and that can be some serious attack yes computer saying 2.1 in favor of white but how often you would see uh, the opponent defending this kind of a situation uh, and my opponent wasn't confident of saving this so he chose rather uh, to play uh, after i placed my bishop on a5 he rather chose to play king b1 which is again bad because uh, this makes this knight vulnerable because of the pin on the pawn on b2 so uh, here i played rook c8 he tries to offer me queen uh, and exchange queens of the board but i try to hang on to that and play 
uh, queen there. And then I just got it back. He played h4. I started breaking the center open by playing c5. He does take. I take the knight first. Okay, uh, sorry for this. I had to actually take uh, the pawn first because, yes, that was a free pawn. I can take on the knight, but then he comes with the bishop. What are we doing next? Oh, we are now attacking his knight and his queen as well after taking the knight. Uh, but rather, I took on his uh, knight first. Now, my point was if he takes the queen, I can take back this. And yes, he can take back the, with the bishop and I'll take with the pawn maybe or the knight. Both works. So we are pretty much equal in the game. As you see, and I can just uh, put my king up uh, somewhere on maybe d7, not on e7 because I want to get my knight out uh going doing some business maybe attack the pawn in future uh with my rook and knight lined up so that was uh, one of the ideas so let's go back in the game uh where after he takes i take back with the rook and he tries to offer me queen exchange which computer suggesting i should take in the first place but i try to attack the queen he goes back i get my knight on e7 which he does take and I get my rook active. He, he plays the best move again, which is uh, knight to d4. I appreciate that. Uh, and then I try to exchange the queens again. He tried to exchange me, uh, exchange queens here, and I did take this time. And then played rook to c4, forcing him to play a uh, pawn to c3. And then I got the free pawn. And now you see uh, I've got in control, so I want to exchange knight as well. He doesn't take that. So I took on with uh, the other pawn with the rook. Yes, he gets to take my pawn, but then I tried to exchange rooks on the board. And here my opponent blundered. Uh, he tried to line up his rooks so that if now I take the rook, he can take back and try to make sure that my rook never enters his last rank and give some check or something. But he forgot the fact uh, that it's not the move order he thought I would be playing, but I can take on the, the rook first. Earlier I couldn't take the rook because his, the other rook was having a pin on the pawn because of my king on e7. But as soon as he moves the rook trying to double up, uh, he thought that I'll take the rook first uh, on d1, but rather I took with my pawn on uh, e2, uh, e6 to d5. Uh, so that's what happens. And then there's no choice. He cannot take on the pawn because it's pinned. Uh, he has to take the rook or just go back either ways it's it's going to be losing so that's what happens in the game and he resigns pretty quick after that i hope you like the video uh the small calculations in the end game when you're trying to go for exchanges are pretty important so just be more focused towards it the move order must not be same as what you expect the opponent will play so just try to figure out all the combinations before playing and you have ample amount of time it's okay uh to Take 30 seconds, 40 seconds, a minute even, and make, making sure that you are in a winning position. I hope you liked the video. Do let me know your feedback. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. That gives me a lot of motivation. Again, thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.